We go. Top three no score. Tony Gwynn facing Greg Maddox. You know, Gwynn is a 446 career average against Maddox. That goes down the line. Brian Jordan, all sorts of trouble, bobbling it, and then he misses the cutoff man with Jordan. That allows Andy Ashby to score all the way from first. San Diego is up 1 0. Bottom three. Braves down 2 1. Brett Boone facing Ashby 2 on Boone. What a shot. Check out Tony Gwynn. Leaps, thinks he has it, and he actually thought the ball went over the wall, so you see him stomp his feet. He was angry, and then he recovers in time, but not really. The game is tied at two. Gwynn was just angry at himself. He really thought he had the ball. Two batters later. Brian Jordan up with the bags full. Jordan, always dangerous. Grounder, Damian Jackson, throw to second. Throw gets away. Gerald Williams and Boone score. But Chipper Jones is out at third. That's okay for the Braves. They win it anyway. Six to two. Maddox wins his sixth straight start. He's lost with McGuire trying to smash some baseballs. Smashing Kenny Rogers pitch. You know, Big Mac has four homers and 24 at bats against Rogers, but he still has four because that was foul. Body language just sometimes doesn't do the job. Two pitches later, and then Rogers freezes Big Mac. McGuire one for four with three Ks on the day. Still top one, two nothing Cardinals. Rogers facing Craig Paquette, two on Ray Odonez. What a, this is Ray Odonez and the flip to Alfonso. DP said Valentine later that play may not have won the game, but it kept us from losing the game as you take another look. Bottom one now, Big Mac, distracted by the B. I'd be running away at that point. Mike Piazza never distracted. Who says this guy doesn't have big hits and big home runs? They were losing 2 nothing at the time. That crush put the Mets ahead 3-2 on number 29. We're tied at four, Ricky Henderson. Lines the Heathcliff Slocum's pitch down the line. Benny Agbayani scores. Ricky, three for three, two RBIs, two walks, and the Mets win it big, seven to Looking for number 50, facing John Thompson. Sosa drives it in the air. Left center field, it's got a chance. Gone! Number 50 for Sammy Sosa. Do I hear 51, Johnson bottom six, Cowboy Cubs down one, there. runners at the corners. Sammy, stroking with a purpose. To right field, way back. The fourth different player to post back-to-back -back 50 home run seasons, by the way. And boy, that fan who caught that ball is a lucky one. So the Cubs win, and Sosa now has a three-homer lead over the Twins, two on two out the rocket, facing Jacques Jones. Jones, the double. That scores Corey Koski and Torrey Hunter. Jones' second double of the night. It's 3-0 Minnesota. The Yanks bring out the best of the Twins. Eric Milton would be the story, the former Yankee farmhand. Top of the third, same score, facing double S. Shane Spencer got him with the heat. Top six, Milton against Jim Leyritz. No contest. Twins go on to win easily, beating the Yanks 6-1 to one as the Twins snap a five-game skid. Milton allowing one, one run over seven-plus innings. Baffling his former team for the second 2-1 Texas. Rick Helling, Jason Varitek. What a rip. Tom Goodwin, you know, he is so good. The leaping catch, robbing Veritek of a homer. We see this every night in every highlight of the Texas Rangers from Tom Goodwin. Bottom third, Brian Rose is pitched to Rafael Palmero. That is number 35. As a matter of fact, Rafi homered twice in this game to make Boston Red Sox fans feel ill. 350 career home runs. He's 54th on the all A's and the A's in action. Top of the first, two on. Nobody out for... Sean Green, the shot just RBI. inside the first baseline, goes Shannon in the right Stewart field goes corner, Stewart, Stewart Gray, scores, Green has a double, Jay's up one nothing. Next up, Carlos Delgado, and excuse me, hit, it falls in. Brian McRae, Sean Green, both score, Blue Jays up three nothing, scoring three runs off four hits in 10 pitches. Bottom of the third, same score, two on four. John Jaha crushes the Chris Carpenter pitch to deep right. Luxury box, three run home run, his 28th. We are tied at three. Bottom of the fourth, base is loaded for Jaha, and he gets a free pass. That brings in a run, A's up five three. Same inning, two batters later. Ben Green, take your base. That brings in another run. A's go up 6-3. Bottom of the six, A's up 7-4. Ben Grieve up. He fouls the ball back. Watch the fan. Kids, do not try this at home. Somehow he hangs on to the ball and he doesn't tumble over. Astros taking on the Marlins. Hidalgo watching with his 15 homers on the bench. Top nine tied at four. Jeff Bagwell says to Brian Edmondson, bunch it, Joey. Number 37 on the year. A solo home run, and the Astros go up five to four. Bagwell was two for four. Bottom nine, same score. Preston Wilson facing Billy Wagner, and Wilson hits it hard to short, but Ricky Gutierrez says, I have glove I will use. Guns him out at first. 
And the Strohs win it 5-4. to four. four homers in this game for Houston. And after... Tied at five, bottom 11, Rico Bronia. He is your hero. Opposite way, just sliced it that way. Gary Sheffield coming up throwing. The play at the plate, Kevin Sefik, Sefcik, rather, is safe, and that's all that matters. Rico Bronia is the story, finished with four hits, plus he drives in five of the proof at Finley. Bullseye right through Abraham Nunez's legs. Williams scores, and the lead is increased to three to one. Kevin Young facing Randy Johnson. He already homered once. Make it twice. Young hitting the high note for the second time in this game. He has 19 home runs on the year. That one was a 423-foot shot. Diamondbacks lead cut to 3-2. to two. Now, Young hit two inside fastballs off of Randy in those two home runs, and he didn't see another inside fastball the rest of the way. Two sliders struck him out in his final two at-bats, and the Diamondbacks win 4-2. to two. Johnson beating the Pirates for the fourth straight time, but his... With a runner on second, watch this. Marquise Grissom said this was a ball from the devil. <laughs> what in the world happened there? Javier scores, really ends up at third. Uh, I've stood on the tee and hit some drives like this, Bill. This ball curves like a Frisbee. Uh, I think Marcus Keith Grissom caught for traveling on that one. Giants win at 5-1. They've now won three. Mariners at Safeco. Indians up 2-0. Jim Tomei. Gilmesh. Tomei. Ken Griffey Jr. lays out. Can't hold on. Ball comes loose. But wait a minute. David Justice thinks Griffey caught the ball. So, And the umpire says Griffey dropped the ball. And Lou Pinnell is going to come out to argue because that's his job. He's the manager. He thinks the base runner should be out. Take another look. Griffey dies. But did he hold on to the ball long enough? Now, Justice thinks the inning is over. He sprints back to third. And Jim Tomei starts to walk toward the dugout before he runs back to first. And Pinella, well, he continues to argue, but to no avail. It was ruled a hit. It was all bad for Seattle. Surgery and all that. Grounds one to Ray Sanchez at short. Nice stop. And then the throw. Dave Martinez beats the throw. Single for Conseco. Two for four with no RBIs. Getting that timing back slowly but surely. Three batters later. Paul Sorrento with a bag full up the middle. The weird bounce off the turf. Conseco would score to nothing. And then Fred McGriff. Exclamation point. A three-run home run. Number 28 for McGriff. And there you see the final. 8-2 for Tampa. On Sunday. Big Mac. First and inning one against one. Octavio Dotel. Gone. Thirteenth first inning homer this season. 49 on the year for Mac. Cards up 2-0. 502 feet. Power and a power outage. The shot actually broke a light in the scoreboard. Redford had a shot like this in the natural. Big Mac comes calling top of the seventh. And a 1-0 pitch. He's one away from 50. And there's a drive. Left center. Dunstan back. It's gone! Number 50 for Big Mac! McGuire becomes the first player ever to hit 50 homers in four consecutive seasons. Bottom eight, bases loaded, John Olerud. Mets trail 6-1. John Olerud has just left the building. Mets trail 6-5 on the grand slam for Ole. Next batter, Mike Piazza. Piazza trying to tie this game up, and he does. Did you see where that pitch was? Went up and got it and hit it out. Tied at six. The Mets' reaction, they come from a 6-1 deficit to tie it, and they are pumped. In the ninth, Armando Benitez against Fernando Tatis. Two-minute board, Robin Ventura. But the throw pulls Olerud off the bag. J.D. Drew scores. Benitez not pleased. Cards take a 7-6 lead. Mets trail 7-6 in the night. Ricky Henderson against Ricky Vitalico with two minute board. The double to right. Ray Ordonez comes around to score. Tied at seven. Henderson goes three for four on the day. Next batter, the Mets MVP, Edgardo Alfonso. Two minute board. Ball game. Matt Franco scores. Mets score two in the bottom of the ninth and win it in one of the better games this season. A total of six homers were hit in game one including the one McGuire hit in the first inning, a 502-foot blast that Bobby Valentine called the longest one. And you can't stop Craig Paquette. You can only hope to contain him. You can't pronounce Paquette either. His fifth on the year, 3-1 cards. Top six, Mark McGuire played already 0 for 2, and the whiff. McGuire 0 for 3, 2 walks. Chuck McElroy on for the Mets, not playing left field. He's pitching against Adam Kennedy, bases loaded. Adam Kennedy. Franco misplays it. All three runs come in to score. Kennedy ends up with a double. Kennedy's first career RBIs, 7-2 cards. 
and they would actually hold on to this lead and win it by the final of 7-5. Craig Paquette, who was traded by the Mets for Sean Dunstan, has five homers in his sack bunt. Chipper Jones, Bruce Bochy wants no part of Chipper, so the intentional walk. Brian Jordan, do up. Trevor Hoffman in the bullpen. Hells bells. But Maselli stays in. Braves lead the National League in last at bat victories, and they got another one. Jordan. The base knock. Williams scores from second base. Braves win it in dramatic fashion by the final of 3 to 2. 23rd time this year the Braves have won a game in their final at bat. Homer Bush. Two out grounder to third. Almedo signs who homered in this game. Nice play, but the um, Durwood Merrill makes a late safe signal at first. Now, Art Howe comes out to argue. Seemed like the right thing to do at the time. The replay shows it was really close, but first base coach Lloyd Mosby may have influenced Merrill's late call. You never know. Just a thought. Two batters later, Carlos Delgado picking his spots. Off of Buddy Groom, Bush would score from third. We're tied at three. Still tied bottom nine runner on second. Randy Velarde, the blooper against the flame-throwing closer, Billy Cox. Sean Green, nice effort, but can't get it. Miguel Tejada scores the game-winning run. Tejada was on with a walk. And the A's gain a final game on the Blue Jays in that wild card race as they win it 4-3. to three. The ninth, Dabak pick it up, top of the sixth. Aaron Seeley facing Brian Dabak. One on Dabak, who's cooled off a bit. The grounder, Royce Clayton, makes a great play to get the force at second. Dabak just 158, hitting in the last six games. Juan Gonzalez, the grounder. No more Garcia Parra, the scoop. Off balance throw and draw back the leaping grab to get the out. Outstanding defense. Next batter, Rafi Palmero, focused on the fences yet again. Number 37 and Palmero's sixth home run in his last seven games. And Wakefield gets the loss in his first start since June. Six nothing. Not his love safe go field, though. They've scored 13 in their last two games. Game tied to two top six. Manny Ramirez. A big fan of that pitch by Jamie Moyer. An upper decker, Manny's 33rd home run of the year. Put the Indians up 3 to 2. Bottom eight. Mariners still down 3 2 1 on Ken Griffey Jr. He's batting only 268 at Safeco Field. And, folks, that's just his fifth homer in 24 games at Safeco Field. But, of course, it was a huge one. Number 38 on the year. He leads the AL in that department. Mariners up one after the Tribe tied it at four. Things got interesting. Carlos Baerga, the steal. Baerga, the elusive slide to avoid the tag of A Rod. He is called safe. Look at Lou Pinella. He's exploding literally out of the dugout. Pinella hates the call, points to the second base umpire Bill Welke that Baerga slid out of the base path. Then he kicks him after he was ejected. And then Lou, after he's done kicking, he decides to reenact the Baerga slide. Nicely done. The sweet Lou have a gripe? Take another look. Bayerga sliding wide of the bag, avoiding Alex Rodriguez's tag, and then reaches the bag. It's really a tough judgment call. Looks like it could have gone either way. Lou knows which way it should have gone. One on top ten, Richie Sexton. An uplifting experience for himself and the entire Cleveland Indians organization. Number 24 on the year, and the Indians win 7-4. to four. They get the sweep. They beat Seattle. Enable him to become a 300 top of the first, no score, Vlad Guerrero. Rip towards the alley. Hitting streak extended to 27 games. Mike Mordecai comes in, one nothing Montreal. Bottom of the 10th, Reds trail 3-2. Barry Larkin at first with one out. Those 35-year-old legs. And he's going. Barry Larkin, 22 stolen bases. Larkin then will steal third with two outs. Aaron Boone at the plate. There's your ball game. No, it's not. It just ties it up. Larkin comes in to score. They would need more dramatics in the 11th. Tied at three bases loaded. Sean Casey, deep fly. Deep enough for Mike Cameron to come in. Reds win it in 11. Reds haven't lost a series since July 28th through the 30th when they dropped two of three to the Tigers. Watch myself on TV. Luis Gonzalez, HR.com. In the first, next batter is Matt Williams. Cowhide joyride. You know, I haven't dipped into that catchphrase closet in a while. I can see why. Exactly. Rubio Durazo has just left the building. That's better. Diamondbacks up 5 nothing. Back to back to back, Jack. Wake up. Ah, what? <laughs> ah. Yankee catcher in 59 years to hit for the cycle Posada. That's a home run off of a Joe Mays fastball. That's an upper decker. Number 11 on the year, one nothing Yanks. Top four tied at one. Posada up with a man on the looper. Look at Jones coming in, but the ball bounces right over his head. Tino Martinez coming all the way around to the score, and Posada ends up with a gift triple. He would double two, but he'd finish a single short of the cycle. He was also trying to become the 11th Yankee. At one, one men aboard, Jose Rosado pitching, Mike DeFelice. The grounder passed Mike Sweeney. 
Miguel Cairo scores. De Felice accounting for all the D Rays runs with a homer and an RBI single. Devil Rays win it by the final of 2 to 1. Devil Rays won for the seventh time in eight games. Rondo Orojo won at home for the first time since last September. To Camden, the O's, the White Sox. Brooke Fordyce. Top of the third, the comebacker off Mike Musina. Ryan Miner gets the rebound, gets his man. Musina would have to leave the game with a right shoulder bruise. Bottom of the third, Jeff Conine. Off Jamie Navarro. Conine's 12th of the season. The Orioles pick up the victory thanks to the three run homer by Conine. 9 4 the final. Jeff, one for five with the bases loaded coming into the game. So much for plan A. Is it too late for plan B? The sixth career grand slam for Sheffield. 21st home run of the year. Sheffield two for five, six RBIs in a Dodgers romp. Nine to seven. Now just one hit up to that point. Make it two. Walker with his 33rd home run of the year. He has three homers against the Cubs this year. Rockies up one nothing. To the seventh now. Cubs with a runner on first. Still one nothing. Jamie Wright, Tyler Houston. Houston, that seems, that's pretty deep. It's going to hit the Ivy and Dante Bichette can't find it. He recovers, but his throw, not good, but you want to see a good throw? Vinny Castilla, mm. right on. It was perfect. It gets Jose Nieves. Castilla said the only thing I had a chance to do was turn around, throw the ball, and make a perfect throw. I needed just that. Three to two. You didn't see Sammy Sosa in this highlight. Well, he was one for three with a single.